Hey guys, today I have a matching Amana, which is made by Whirlpool, washer and electric dryer set. Now it looks a little strange. I've got the lid popped off here and the lid locking mechanism put in place here. That way we can see what's going on with the machine. You can also see that it's nice and clean underneath the lid and everything's been all cleaned up. And I've got about a medium to large size load. I've got the soil level set to medium. I've got it set to warm. Of course, I've been through and tested all of this out. This is my fourth load. I do the deep cleaning and uh, always film that last load. So you can see as if you're standing here yourself, checking it out, that everything works perfect on it. So it's filling up with water. I have it set on the deep water wash. That's kind of the cycle I prefer. I just always use that one. However, you've got some cycles for delicates. If you want to save a little bit more water, you can go up here into the normal range. You can clean the washer with an fresh tablet. You've got drain and spin or rinse and spin. So this is an extra rinse and spin uh, cycle right there. Now, so what does soil level do? Soil level is going to tell this machine how long to agitate these clothes for. You've got a center agitator and it's going to go along um, and clean. And this doesn't necessarily designate water level like they used to. It's going to tell the machine how dirty they are and so how long it needs to agitate your water level is going to be determined here. So we go deep water and you'll be able to see how much water it uses here in a sec when it's done and switches over. And sometimes it'll even stop and add a little bit more water as it goes along. But uh, I will let it go ahead and finish up. I'm going to show you guys that it fills all the way up with water, agitates like it's supposed to, drains the water out as it moves into the rinse cycle. And then last but not least that it has a nice, fast, smooth and balanced final spin cycle. Then when it's all done, We'll take the clothes, toss them in the dryer, and I'll show you that the dryer's working perfectly. So we will come back. Okay, now it's getting started on the agitation process right now. It might stop and add a little bit more water, but we're just about full submersion, and the agitation's gonna kind of vortex those clothes down along the bottom, bottom fins on this agitator, and up the side. Then it just kind of keeps going in this motion here. And like I said, it'll stop, add a little bit more water if it thinks it needs a little bit more. All that stuff is auto on this machine. But like I said, just wanted you to see it's getting started agitating. So next I'll come back when it's draining the water out. Okay, now we're draining the water out. You can hear that drain running nice and fast. Of course, it's going to drain all the water out. Then it'll spin to extract the soapy water, the used up water. Then it's gonna fill back up with fresh, clean water for the rinse cycle. And once it's done agitating and draining for that, we'll come back for the final spin. All right, we're on the final spin. And just to reiterate, um, this typically, the lid when it's on here would be locked. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to open it. This little mechanism is locked in place. And of course, I'll put that lid back on there when we get this listed up, but Having it off allows us to see what's going on. You can see it's spinning nice and fast in the machine. Very smooth, sounds great. Now a lot of this noise would be muffled with the lid down and on. You can hear the drain running as it extracts the water out of those clothes. And one thing that's really nice about how fast that's spinning is it will extract the max amount of water out of those clothes. It's gonna cut your drying time in half versus some of the more traditional machines. So I'll let that finish up and we'll move over to the dryer. Okay, we got the lid put back on, the locking mechanism put back in place, and that's all cleaned out. So that's good to go. And we come over here to the matching electric dryer. I've got the clothes thrown in there. You see it's a nice huge capacity. Go ahead and close that up. Now we're just gonna set this on time dry, which is our high heat. We also have an air dry with no heat for really delicate items, tumble dry if you will. Then we have automatic dry on low. So this is a low heat, more delicate items. You can set it right here or any one of these three cycles. Then we have an automatic dry with high heat. Just kind of depends on what you want to use. Depends on what you're doing. Okay, so we will set this on time dry high heat. We'll hit go. As you can hear, it's running great. Sounds great. It would actually be even a little bit quieter with your vent hose attached to the back, kind of muffle that blower sound. But what I'm gonna do, give it just another second, I'm gonna show you that it is in fact heating and tumbling like it's supposed to. So right in between those two red dots, it's taking a surface temperature measurement. 
So it's 82, almost 83 degrees on top of the dryer. If I shine it on the concrete floor, a little cooler down there, it's about 77 degrees. So we'll go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna shoot it right inside the heating element tube where the heat's pumping out there. You can see plenty of heat coming out of that tube right there. Now that in turn is gonna heat the inside of your dryer up anywhere from about 95 up to 195. And it just depends on which one of those heat settings you choose. But we're gonna allow this to go ahead and go through its cycle. That's going to be it for this set. We'll go ahead and get them listed up for sale. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks. You guys have a great day.